Two Canadians have been named to TikTok's global discover list. One of them is a two-spirit Indigenous youth advocate from Edmonton. As Evan Kenny reports, this is opening a door for those lacking representation. This photo represents the girl who is still in the running to becoming Turtle Island's next top model. From a sketch comedy... MMIW2SG stands for Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women, Two Spirits and Girls. To advocating for others, Kyron Potts has a lot of range on his social media pages. I really wanted to feel like I was using my platform to at least do what I can. TikTok has roughly a billion users. Potts is one of 50 creators being recognized on its Discover list. The list showcases creators who drive positive change on the social media app and beyond. He was named to the change makers category. It's really validating, I feel like. Um, it, it says like, hey, we see you, we appreciate you, and we want the world to also see you and to discover you. Potts is a two-spirit content creator who represents the Alexis Nakota Sioux and the Paul First Nation just outside of Edmonton. He has more than 250,000 followers. His videos have millions of likes. He says his videos are popular within his own community. We have a sort of section on TikTok called Native TikTok, which is really unique to a lot of the experiences that our communities go through. I would love to see Indigenous people reclaiming their own stories. Potts is the first Indigenous creator featured on the list. He hopes this will inspire the next generation of Indigenous youth. You see the representation and it inspires you. It, it allows you to believe that it's possible. I always think of it like walking through a big empty field of snow. You get really scared because you don't know where to go, but then all of a sudden you see a bunch of footprints leading in one direction and you're like, hey, cool, look, someone's already done it. Potts plans to start a mentorship program for Indigenous youth looking to get into content creating. Evan Kenny, CTV News, Edmonton.